In this lesson, we ask the question, what is Oracle? People in the IT industry talk about Oracle all the time. I work with Oracle, or we use Oracle. So what does that really mean? What is Oracle anyway? Put simply, Oracle is a company, Oracle is a family of products, and it's also a relational database management system. Oracle the company began in 1977 under the name SDL, or Software Development Laboratories. The people that started Oracle were inspired by the work done by Dr. Theodore, or Ted, Codd. Dr. Codd had been working on a new theory to store data. Prior to Dr. Codd's work, database storage worked on a flat model, or the flat file. We're all generally aware of how a flat file works. Just think of a spreadsheet. It has data laid out in columns and rows. Only in a flat file terminology, these are fields and records. Dr. Codd theorized that these flat files could be related to one another, forming what he called a relational model. The founders of Oracle used this model in the creation of the Oracle database server. In 1979, they sold the first version of their relational database. As the story goes, the first version of Oracle was released as version 2 because founder Larry Ellison didn't believe anyone would want to buy a version 1 product. In 1982, they renamed their company Oracle to align with their flagship product. As a family of products, the scope of Oracle's offerings in the enterprise IT sphere are nearly unmatched. With the exception of network hardware, it's quite possible to run an entire data center with nothing but Oracle hardware and software. In the server and storage area, Oracle offers no less than 10 major server platforms, each tailored to a different tier of the IT framework. For example, Exadata is designed to run as a specifically configured server for running the Oracle database. Exalogic is designed for application and web servers. Oracle even offers a system designed with large amounts of RAM that works solely as a computation platform for business intelligence. In the operating system arena, Oracle offers two separate types, Oracle Solaris, a Unix operating system, and Oracle Linux, which is a Red Hat compatible version of the Linux OS. In the virtualization sphere, Oracle offers both an enterprise virtualization solution and a workstation-based system. Oracle VM Server is an enterprise-level product that allows administrators to use a finite amount of physical servers to deliver a much larger number of virtual servers. Oracle also provides, for free, one of the most popular desktop virtualization systems, Oracle VM VirtualBox. VirtualBox allows a user to run multiple different operating systems from a single machine. For many years, Oracle has offered the Oracle Application Server product as a framework for hosting and running customer web applications. After their acquisition of BEA systems, Oracle acquired the very popular WebLogic Application Server. Oracle has merged these two into its current WebLogic offering known as Fusion Middleware. Finally, in the area of programming languages, Oracle maintains and distributes perhaps the most popular programming language on the planet, Java. The Java language is and has been key to Oracle's product strategy for many years. Its influence is felt throughout Oracle software offerings. In addition to Java, Oracle also provides the PL SQL language, the leading language for handling data in an Oracle database. Finally, for our purposes, Oracle is an RDBMS, or Relational Database Management System. There are many types of RDBMS on the market today, such as IBM's DB2 and Microsoft SQL Server. But the Oracle RDBMS is the most widely used and commands the largest share of the market. In these lessons, when we refer to Oracle, we're generally referring to the Oracle RDBMS. 